Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Business Podcast, your source for all things business. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so I have Drew Taylor on the line, and he's founder and a digital nomad over at Digital Nomad University. Drew, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Adam. Stoked to be with you. All right, Drew. So I'm excited to get into today's topic. So we're going to talk about the digital nomad economy. Um, and, you know, a lot of people listen, they've heard of it. I feel like it's a secret club or something. We've heard of it, but how do we take part? So you're going to, you're going to, you're going to reveal some of that today. But before we get into that, um, let's just talk about what you're doing overall over at Digital Nomad University. Tell us a little bit more about, about your company, please. Yeah, absolutely, Adam. So as you said, you know, a lot of people are starting to kind of see uh, the name Digital Nomad and really understand what it is. And so what we do over at Digital Nomad University is we teach individuals how to create a lifestyle and coaching business around the things that they're passionate about. That's awesome. And I think that's a great transition. So let's just jump right into today's topic. So uh, digital nomad economy, uh, the secret club, or maybe not so secret. Um, tell, where do you want to start with this one? This is a big topic. Yeah, it is, man. Um, really just kind of talk about, you know, uh, I guess I could share a little bit about how I got started on my journey and then um, the reason why I'm so passionate about helping others do the same. Let's get into it. Love it. Well, yeah, so, uh, you know, really this all started about seven years from, uh, ago for me. Um was working at a nine-to-five um, cubicle city, uh, just, you know, grinding away, doing phone sales, uh, not really enjoying what I was doing. And, you know, it was kind of uh, at the very beginning of, you know, just the rise of the, the social media influencer. And so I was seeing all these people kind of living this lifestyle, doing the things they enjoy, traveling the world, and somehow making money doing it. And so that intrigued me enough. And the pain of uh, going to the same job every single day got me to the point where I decided to do a little research. Um, you know, one of the first books I picked up was The 4-Hour Work Week by Tim Ferriss. And that helped me to understand that, you know, re retirement uh, doesn't necessarily equate to, to uh, you know, age. You know, it, it really comes down to income and having the ability to create an income stream outside of my normal nine to five that would support the lifestyle that I was looking for. And so, you know, we go to, you know, a few years later, um, you know, I've pretty much kind of cracked the code uh, just by learning from some of the, the masters out there doing my own research and kind of formulating my own uh, plan. And now we help others do the same thing, escape the rat race and do the things that they love. So for people listening to this, I mean, some of them, um, you know, they're thinking about going that route. They're maybe interested. I mean, what are some of the first steps that somebody should really do in terms of self-evaluation or otherwise to see if, you know, the digital nomad lifestyle is really for them? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, really, I, I help my students uh, really just kind of figure out, you know, if, if you were making $50,000 a month, you know, and you could, uh, you know, you had all your ex expenses taken care of, you had all of this available free time, you know, what would you really spend it doing? You know, uh, if, if somebody put, were to put you up on a stage and tell you that you had to talk about something for an hour, what is something that you would enjoy talking about? So we really like to focus in on them the things that they're actually passionate about because we lose those things in a very short time, uh, you know, during the, the nine to five years. Um, we forget what we're passionate about because we're so consumed by work uh, that we don't really have a whole lot of life left. And so when we can really dive deep into them, have them take a few personality strengths, uh, strengths finders and things like that, we can actually figure out what makes them tick. And, uh, you know, we kind of formulate a business plan to help them really turn that into a six-figure business. So obviously everybody's path is going to be a little bit different. So I don't want to I don't want to oversimplify this. But what are some of the things that you found? Um, maybe some of your students have done in the past that that they were successful in, um, just to kind of spark ideas for people that are listening. Absolutely, uh, yeah. So we have uh, several students that have gone through the program and have successful businesses now in the health and wellness space. Obviously, that's a big niche. Always will be. Everybody wanting to be healthier, have more energy, lose more weight. So we have helped, uh, you know, numerous students at this point get completely free by doing something they love in the health and wellness space. Um, we've got, uh, you know, other students who are more in the relationship, um, uh, you know, I guess niche. 
And these people, you know, we've got women who help um, other women, um, you know, kind of get out of, uh, you know, toxic relationships, how to inspire more confidence, et cetera. And then we've also got people in like the wealth building space. Um, a couple of our students are, you know, they, they were previously financial advisors. They know the space extremely well, but they got sick and tired of the daily grind of meeting up with people at coffee shops and, you know, trying to sell people into uh, different services and whatnot. And so they've taken their financial knowledge and have kind of packaged that up into ebooks and courses, digital programs, and we help them get that in front of the right people as well. Man, that's awesome. What does a typical like uh like like course look like? So how long does it normally take somebody in terms of give us some of the nuts and bolts of what the course looks like and because there's some people I'm gonna give you the opportunity to leave of course your contact info, all that good stuff so people can follow up, but just give them a feel for how the course layout is. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, and, and you're talking about the Digital Nomad University course or if uh-huh. they were to create their own course. Okay. No, great. Digital Nomad so, University course. Mm-hmm. Fabulous. So what we do is uh, rather than just offering a course, we actually offer full hands-on coaching. So rather than just having somebody go and try to figure it out themselves, like, hey, watch these videos and then you're good to go, we're really hands-on because our success rate is extremely important to us. You know, the reason I started this is because once I got free um, and I realized how much stress was re- reduced from my life, um, how I was able to focus on the things that I loved. I was just like, man, more people need to experience this. And so what we do is we basically take you by the hand. We, we obviously do have courses where people can do a lot of the nuts and bolts stuff, kind of get their brand started, um, you know, kind of pick their niche. Cause that's really what we do in the course is we help individuals uh, pick their niche. It's kind of step one, step two, we show them how to build a thriving audience around that niche. And then step three, we either teach them how to go and source products that are going to suit that niche or go and create their own digital products that obviously are the, you know branded to them. So that's really what we help them do. Um, overall, the program itself is a 12-week coaching program. And so we want everybody to have their business up and running and to the point of being profitable within 12 weeks. Wow, that's awesome. Um, so, Drew, if somebody's listening to this and they want to learn more about Digital Nomad University, I mean, what's the best way for them to connect with you and your team? Absolutely. So I will be on all social sites, uh, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, you can find me at uh, self-made DT, just the word self-made, and then my initial DT. And then uh, website would be digitalnomadletteru.com. Or if you'd like to join our private Facebook community where we're teaching this type of stuff for free every single day, you can also go to www.digitalnomadbiz.com. Fantastic. Well, I have to tell you, Drew, really appreciate you coming on the show today and sharing more about what you're doing over at Digital Nomad University and to the audience, as always. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, uh, leave me a review on the on the Apple iTunes store. Um, and if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Business, definitely give us a subscribe there, but also leave us some comments in the video. I'd love to know what kind of projects and things that you're working on. And Drew, thanks again for coming on the show. Thank you, Adam.